Man, it got chilly this morning in Texas. <clears throat> Man, I have two 1978 Chevrolet Silverados. This one I bought from a Hispanic brother out there in um, Weatherford. It belonged to an 82-year-old white man, a country farmer. Totally original. <clears throat> and not a wire cut on it. This original motor, original everything. New AC, new everything. I had it totally rebuilt. It got into do a good job, but I wanted to keep this one original. <clears throat> I wanted to keep this one original, and I eventually I'll put, I'll put the trim on it. And I'm not in a hurry for it. Then I have my dad's, and I put a LS motor out of a 2001 Tahoe. Man, this truck's been a thorn in my flesh. But, you know, as I start up this truck this morning, man, this blue one, <clears throat> Listen to it, man. I mean, it, it 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 might be warm right now, but just just listen to it. it it's so. This was 1978. I mean, this is what they had. It'll probably start now. It, it's already been warmed up. But this morning, I already had it warmed up, so it's already warmed up. This one's got the choke. <clears throat> Look at this, man. I'm not going to run it long because I'm fixing to work on it. Here, I had to let it warm up forever to get it up this hill. The difference between that one in 1978, this was state of the art for its time. This was the top of the line Chevrolet Silverado air conditioned, power brakes, you know, this was the top of the line. This brakes, this was it. But you know, now today, everybody's going with these LS motors. And even though I've had a lot of problems with it now, with this one, I love it because I can get in it, I don't care how cold it is, fired up, I'm getting my gauges lined out. You know, I've got analog on one side, digital on the other, but see the difference? It jumps right off. It's smooth. I can actually, which I would never do it, I could drive right now, but I would never do that. I would I always let my motors warm up. My mother taught me, Skeeter Moore taught me, old, all the mechanics, the old school heads that raised me, you always let your motors warm up. Let the oil pick up from the oil pan through the lifters down into the cylinders. Man, just let it warm up. That's what we have to do with our spiritual man, with our body. But what I'm doing in my project today is this AC is brand new. It blows icicles. But when it's hot, I have to bypass the hose because there's a heat. I'm losing heat goes in the AC. And the AC doesn't cool properly because there's heat mixed with it. This is what we need to understand. If we have just a, this AC is a brand new compressor. Me and Mr. Norman Garrett put a new orifice tube, we pulled a vacuum, we charged it. This AC blows icicles. But what I want you to understand is, as good as it is, the heat that's seeping through the plenum box inside prevents it from blowing the cold air. So I have to do this. I'm not gonna go bid and get a new plenum box. I'm not taking that apart. So I just take the hose off, I bypass it. Here in a minute, 10, 15 minutes later, boom, it'll be blowing. It needs a new windshield wiper motor. Well, I've got my, I'm gonna put my wife in this vehicle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go get a new windshield wiper motor and there's no, and have a heater in here. Everything I have needs to run. It needs to function properly. Our spirit man needs to run. It needs to function properly. Let me show you something. Let's go to the Word. Look at this. Ezekiel. Let's pray. 
Father God, right now, in the name and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Father God, right now, in the name and blood of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, have your way in our lives today. Father God, I dedicate this day to you, Jesus Christ, the King of kings, the Lord of lords, the great I am. Father God, I love you. I thank you. I praise you for the new heart that you've put in my life, for the new spirit that you've given me. John 6, 63 says, It's the spirit that quickeneth. The flesh puffeth nothing. These words I speak to you, they are spirit and they are life. Hebrews 4.12 says the word of God is quick, powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even the dividing of the soul, the spirits, the joints, the marrow, and is a discerner of the intents and thoughts of the heart. The word of God is quick, powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even, cutting apart asunder, the joints, the marrow, the, the soul, the spirit, the joints, the marrow, and the word of God is a discerner of the intents and thoughts of the heart. God knows what you're thinking before you think it. Father God, just like I took this old motor out of my dad's truck, that one sitting right over there that I'm not going to throw away because it's a good motor. Father God, I ask you right now, for somebody that's struggling, that, that, that they're having a hard time getting started, they're backfiring, they're cold, they have to pump the accelerator 10, 15, 20 times, and they have to sit in the driveway 20, 30 minutes before they can leave because it's cold-natured. Just like the LS SWAT, Father God, I ask you just to touch them, Father God, that they would cry out to you. Jeremiah 29, 11 says, You know not the thoughts I have for you. Thoughts not of... Uh, uh, thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you a hope in a future that if you'll turn to me and cry out to me and search for me with your whole heart that I'll hear you father we need you to hear us today father God we need a we need a word from you father father I pray this word falls on good soil oh God and brings forth fruit in Jesus name and blood amen Ezekiel 36 and 25 look then I will sprinkle water upon you you shall be clean from all of your filthiness from all of your idols i will cleanse you a new heart also i will give you a new spirit i will put within you i will take away the stony heart out of your flesh i will give you a heart of flesh i will put my spirit within you cause you to walk in my statutes to keep my judgments and do them and you shall dwell in the land that I gave your fathers. You shall be my people. I'll be your God. I will save you from your uncleanness. I will call the corn and will increase it. Lay no famine upon you. I will multiply the fruit of the trees, the increase of the field. You shall receive no more reproach of famine among the heathen. Then you shall remember your own evil ways, your doings that you were not good. You shall loathe it yourself in sight of your iniquities for your abomination. Not for your sakes I do this, saith the Lord God. Be it known unto you. Be ashamed. Be confounded for your own ways, O house of Israel. This says the Lord in the day that I have cleansed you. And from all your iniquities I will also cause you to dwell in the cities and the waste place be built. The destitute land shall be Tilled, whereas it shall desolate in the sight that it passed by. And they shall say, this is the land that was desolate. It's become like the Garden of Eden. The land that was desolate, our lives, that was barren, that didn't bear fruit. He's going to restore it. You're going to look back at your own ways. You're going to loathe it yourself. See, just like I took this motor out. I didn't do it, but I paid to do it. <clears throat> it's like I had poncho, and I had men wiser than me to tell me to put the fuse block, to fuse this. I had my neighbor come over, help me with the AC, put all new gauges. The motor is a motor out of a 2001 Chevrolet Tahoe. But see, this is the motor that, I, that, that originally came in it. I didn't throw it away. I'm not throwing no part away, never in my life. 
But the reason why I saved it is because, God forbid, something happens to this motor, I have another motor. See, just like I'm out here putting this heater hose on, like I'm fixing to go buy this windshield wiper motor, we have to maintenance our equipment. We have to take care of our equipment. Brake pads, oil changes. We have to maintenance our spiritual man. If you don't maintenance your spiritual man, you will not make it. If you don't pray, if you don't meditate, if you don't seek godly counsel, you're not going to make it. I want you to understand something. Jesus Christ loves you. He died for that you could have a new life. That you could have freedom. There's freedom in Christ. God has delivered me from 40 years of addiction. I'm not going to name anything. I haven't drank or done drugs in 17 years. I've been out of prison fixing to be eight years. Thank you, Jesus. One day at a time. Hallelujah, sweet Jesus. One minute at a time. Hallelujah, sweet Jesus. You're in a spiritual warfare. You need to know that. You're in a spiritual battle. You have to stay cock and loaded. You need to understand something. You see this sign? No trespassing. Violators will be prosecuted. Persecuted. Prosecuted. Don't let Satan into your life. Lock the door. Jesus Christ locks the door. He keeps Satan out of your life. We need to understand that it's a spiritual battle. It's all about Jesus Christ. We need to understand that Jesus Christ loves you. He thought you were to die for. Caution. God's working here. He's not done with us yet. Keep out. We need to have warning signs in our life. Halt. Hungry, angry, lonely, tired. Stop. Breathe. Meditate. Let God recharge your spiritual batteries. Build your spirit man up. We need to have our spirit man built up. We need to understand that today's the day of salvation. No one's promised tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen. God bless you. I'm fixing to get my, 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 my mechanic and shirt out. Where's it at? I got a shirt around here somewhere that I told my wife, when I'm wearing this shirt right here, I'm a mechanic. This is my mechanic and shirt. Fix and put that mechanic and shirt on. I like it. Makes me feel good. I fix to get a couple tools out. Call O'Reilly, get my parts. Let me leave you with this verse. No matter how you're feeling right now, don't let Satan beat you up and punk you out. Don't live a defeated life. Don't die in regret. Father God, right now, Jeremiah 33 and 3. Call unto thee, call unto you, Jesus Christ, Lord God Almighty. Call unto the Lord God Almighty in the name and blood of Jesus. And ask thee, and you will show us great and mighty things that we do not know. Father God, I love you, I thank you, and I praise you, Father God. I praise you, I thank you, I just can't thank you enough, oh Father God. Thank you for the shop. Thank you for every, I can come out here and I can relax and I can pray and meditate and I don't have to do anything but would just relax and sit under you, Father God. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. Touch somebody on this morning. That they, that they take this old beat up cold motor and put a heart, a, a new fresh motor in our lives, Father God. Father, I love you, O oh God. I praise you. I lift your name and blood up. For you alone are worthy to be praised, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Look at this. <clears throat> when God speaks, you see this? I paid top dollar, man. These dudes put these cheap relays, cheap wiring burned up. You see that? These little cheap relays. Whatever they are, they're cheap. The fans I had were cheap. I'm backing in here and I got a device that goes to the computer to tell me my temperature. The temperature gauge wasn't working properly that day because it was cheap. And I, the, the Holy Ghost fire, the Spirit of God told me to go inside, get my phone, connect the device, and see what my temperature was. It was 220. It shouldn't have been. 
Should have been 210, 200. I went in the house, man, I got the device, I hooked it up, and I popped the hood, bam! All the wires were melted all the way to the computer. I got frustrated, I got mad. You know what? Thank you, Jesus. I want you to understand something. I took that garbage out, went and got better high dollar Durrell fans, right? Fuses, hit 70 amp fuses. The Holy Spirit are these fuses in our lives. Went to my brother Poncho. He helped me wire this up, made me do it right. Right? But we thought about it together. I said, no, let's put that there. You know, let's do that there. Let, we work together. And look at that, man. The radiators on heavy-duty fans. If we don't have the Holy Spirit, and if I wouldn't have had a spirit of discernment to go check the, the temperature on this thing, I'd have burned this motor up over some fuses, over some faulty wiring. Come on, man. God bless each and every one of y'all. Let's maintenance our equipment. Let's maintenance our equipment on today, okay? Let the Holy Spirit recharge your spiritual batteries. Repent. Ask Jesus Christ to come into your heart. Seek Him while He may be found. You know what? I'm going to turn this on real quick. My wife hates these fans. I love them. Look at this. <clears throat> it won't turn on until it hits a certain temperature. But listen. Listen. Let's not turn it. Listen to that. Sounds like a helicopter. I love it. She, it drives her crazy. Listen to that. Sounds like a helicopter. It drives her crazy. She says, it's too loud. Nope. I love it. Sounds like money to me. When I hear them fans, I know my motor's not going to overheat. Amen. God bless y'all. Y'all have a good day. I love you. Jesus loves you. Pick your head up. Look your eyes up to the hills. Your help comes from the Lord. Amen. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Let me pray with you. Father God, right now, if there's anybody suffering, oh God, if there's anybody that does not know you, Father God, I mean death, burial, resurrection, and dwelling of the Holy Ghost, the living, breathing Word of God, I ask you right now to manifest yourself to them, Father God. Matthew 7, 7, Ask, it will be given. Seek, you shall find. Knock, the door shall be opened. Revelations 3 and 20, Behold, I stand at the door and knock, and if any man hears my voice and opens up, I'll come in and dine with him. I'll be his God. He'll be my son. Thank you, Jesus. God wants to lead you and guide you. He wants to rebuild your heart. Amen. God bless y'all. I love y'all. Y'all have a good, prosperous day in the Lord. Y'all be blessed.